I want to know whether Tiger FM. Tiger FM. Yes. I want to know whether you know the police. Since it's uh, wide, around the country there are some political environments in terms of election vote, which led some schools to take in terms of the cop up with the left. Uh, so those candidates who are in prison um, that they cheated their way, uh, then we will have a very big problem as a country. So we would like to appeal to you to work with us as you have done before uh, so that this season will be a hard part in the nation and that everything will be smooth. And all those candidates who have registered for the examination will take their examination except those who are unavoidably unable to do so. I thank you very much. Briefing, Rachel, and these centers are grouped under 445 storage stations across the country. They break down uh, uh, by funding that is government and the uh, non USE and by gender is given in the table which you will see when you get copies of the statement. But in all, um, under the USE uh, program, we have registered 157,395. That is 48.7% of the candidates who are taking the UCE examination. And the non-USE, that's the private uh, candidates paying for themselves, we have registered a total of 165,734, that is 51.3%. This year's candidature is higher than that of last year by 8,560. Uh, that's about 3% increase from last year's figure of 314,565. For the three levels this year, that is the UCE which is starting, the PLE which will follow, and the USCE which will come uh, last of the three exams, UNEB will be examining a total of 1,068,000 224 candidates in the three examinations. You will observe when you look at the table in my statement that the gender gap in registration at the UCE level 
has greatly reduced and we have now more or less achieved gender parity. In other words, just about as many girls are registering for the UCE examination as are the boys. The percentage for girls is 49.1%. That for the boys is 50.9%. So you can see the two percentages are really you name has provided a special period on the timetable for the briefing of candidates. And this has been scheduled for tomorrow, Friday, 14th. During this period, candidates should be taken through the regulations and uh, be warned against involvement in examination uh, Regulations that affect the malpractice should be explained very, very clearly to the candidates as have been spelled out in the regulation book as well as the timetable. Consequences of breaches of these regulations must be clearly explained to the candidates. UNEP has over the years had cases of candidates breaking regulations and getting involved in certain types of malpractice like smuggling of notes or mismantling their answer booklets purely because they have not been properly briefed. And when they are invited here for a hearing before decisions are made by the Examination Security Committee you will realize that the candidates went into examination into the examination when they were not briefed at all. Where possible, UNEV also encourages uh, parents uh, to attend this briefing where possible. I wish to appeal to head teachers to conduct the briefing themselves and not to delegate as is quite often happening in many schools. In our opinion, no duty can be more important to a head teacher than conducting this final preparation of their candidates. Field monitoring of this examination. UNEM will deploy slightly over 1,600 scouts and security personnel to monitor the conduct of the examination throughout the country. We shall maintain both, both overt and covert, that is undercover presence, in various parts of the country to deal with threats that may emerge against the examination. I wish to appeal to those who will be involved in the handling examination at various levels from storage stations to the examination centers to desist from diverting from the official routes, tampering with question paper envelopes, or opening them earlier than the officially stipulated time. Security agencies have been alerted to monitor, and they will monitor the movement of question papers up to the last point, that is the examination centers. Unauthorized persons are warned to keep away from examination centers and rooms. And head teachers are hereby reminded to cordon off those areas where candidates will be writing examinations so that no unauthorized persons can access these areas. On examination malpractice, we are requiring warning all head teachers, heads of centers, parents, and candidates against involving themselves in any acts of malpractice or irregularities in the examination. We want to assure you that very firm action will be taken against persons who will not keep this warning. We want to say that it will not be business as usual. And this declared Sanja Akona Mchezo, the board will take extremely firm action.
against schools that are going to continue to involve themselves in my practice.